So guys, the Canadian Immigration Authorities have made big changes to applications that can be submitted at the border, which means flag polling is undergoing considerable amount of changes. And one important, a very recent change has been made to the uh, work permit applications for international students. So guys, if you are in Canada or if you are traveling to Canada very soon, and if you want to convert your statuses, apply for any work permits, then this particular change will directly impact you. Please be sure to watch the video till the end. My name is Sahil. So guys, welcome back. Once again, my name is Sahil and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I practice here in Ontario. My office is here. If I have to get in touch with me, my number is on the screen and the details are there in the description box. More than happy to speak with you. Before we proceed any further, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because we talk a lot about Canadian immigration. And if you are an aspirant of moving to Canada, then this is a channel that you must be subscribed to all the time. So guys, we are discussing the very important changes that have been introduced by the Canadian Immigration Authorities with regards to applications that can be submitted at the border. And when I say border, that means the US and the Canada border. Uh, well, uh, let, let me first explain what exactly is this issue and uh, you know what exactly is this process. So this is called flag polling, which means if you are inside Canada, and if you want to submit a certain type of application, which means that not all the applications can be submitted at the border or applied for at the border. So inside Canada, you would exit towards the US by uh, on, on the land border by foot or maybe by car or you know anything. And then you go to the US border, present yourself, tell them that you are coming for flag polling. So the officer at the US side will give you an administrative refusal and would send you back towards Canada. And when you come back to Canada, you tell the officer that you're here for flag polling and you're here to apply for a certain type of application. In normal circumstances, this could be a PGWP, which is a postgraduate work permit, maybe a spousal open work permit, maybe an LMIA based uh, employer specific work permit, could be a religious worker, would be anything, right? So you come back to the Canadian side, tell the officer that you are here to apply for this work permit. This is the administrative refusal and you've done this process at the US side. The officer would then put you in the queue of immigration towards the immigration counters. And one of the officers who are dedicatedly processing those applications would be engaged with you for the next couple of hours to make sure that you're eligible and would issue the work permit then and there on the spot to you. This is subject to the availability of the officer, availability of the timeline and you meeting the eligibility, right? So this is this whole process is called flag polling. Now I'm sure as you can understand that this particular process for one person can be very time consuming and also the officer would also be engaged with you for the couple of hours. Now, this is the pretext of the next news that I'm going to share is that uh, CBSA, which is the Border Services Agency and IRCC have together compiled the data between March 1st, 2023 and February 29th, 2024, which was very recently. And they said that one fifth of the uh, postgraduate work permits have been, uh, you know, attempted at the border, which means people went through the flag polling process and one fifth of the students who were applying for PGWPs, which is quite a big number, you know, it's running in hundred thousands. One fifth of that would be applied at the border, which means that the officers, a considerable amount of officers were busy doing this when these applications could have been done online. Now, I will quickly take you to the... Um, Okay, now what Immigration Canada has to say is that um, because of a safe and secure flow of uh, goods and <coughs> people is required, uh, the border services are busy issuing applications to the border, which means under this flag polling. Hence, they are stopping uh, PGWP applications at the border completely effective immediately. Now, this was issued on the 21st of June, 2024 which clearly means that you, if you are an international student, you cannot apply for a PGWP at the border effective immediately. You cannot do that any longer. Um, the clear understanding here is that the officers have been busy processing these applications when especially these applications can be applied for online. Very recently, um, CBSA also had declared a similar uh, you know, declaration on their website saying that uh, avoid the line at the border and access immigration services online. Now, even CBSA wants you to 
go online and avoid flag polling as much as possible. And they've in fact restricted the timelines as to when you can access the flag polling services. And this was done a couple of weeks ago. Now, in the Quebec region, there are about four uh, borders and the timings have been restricted, including the days. Earlier, you would just walk into any of these borders any time of the day and you would go for it. But now it is no more possible to go any time. Southern Ontario, there are about three of them, Queenston, Niagara and Fort Erie. And then in the Pacific region, which means around, uh, you know, BC, British Columbia and all of that, you have Pacific Highway, Douglas, Boundary Bay, Alder Grove and Abbott's Hunting. Um, these are the, uh, you know, these are all the places where you can go for, um, you know, flag polling. But be sure that nowadays flag polling has become more of hostile in nature because the officers are just pushing back on people. They are not giving timelines. They are not, uh, you know, easy to deal with at the border. So at the present moment, we are trying to avoid flag pulling as much as possible because it has become very, very difficult. And the officers can go to the length of asking for your devices, checking your email, checking your bank balance certificates. They can ask you to log in. They can go through the bank balance certificates to see if you've been working you know, uh, without authorization, they can go any length. They can check your WhatsApp, text messages, Telegram, whatever you may have, they can check that and you will have to present that. Guys, overall, like I said, flag polling um, is no longer possible for PGWP holders. Um, and beyond that, also uh, people, anybody who's uh, trying to go for flag polling, there are restricted timelines now at the specific borders that I mentioned. So, the next trip that you may want to have to a border for any flag polling, first try to avoid it or then make sure that you're 100% eligible for that. Otherwise, things can get really nasty at the border. Guys, I hope the news shared today was helpful, gave you much insights into what's happening in the world of Canadian immigration. If you have anything to discuss with us, please feel free to schedule a consultation and I would be more than happy to speak with you. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do consider subscribing, liking the videos and sharing it with your friends. Once again, wish you all the best and we really hope to see you soon in Canada. All the best.